up, it's about that time. So, what do we have here? New backpack. Before I start on the new backpack video here, I wanna say if it's your first time here, like and subscribe. Uh, Beagler Outdoors is a channel about all outdoors. We specialize in fishing, mainly bass fishing. Um, hunting video, if you do some gun videos, but we're kinda, not too many of those, we do some gun videos. And we do a lot of reviews. So if it's your first time here, hit that like button, thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, really appreciate it. All right, so as you guys know, uh, I always have a, a backpack that I use when I'm out in my truck, because there's always ponds around and I work in the Orlando, Florida area. And then I do a lot of work down south where there's peacock bass and stuff. So I always try to have a, a pack and I'll put the link uh, up here to the backpack video, which is my last backpack I had, which is a really small pack you throw over your shoulder. Um, but I noticed that I kept cramming stuff in there and it was like, man, it was just really tight, really tight. So I've been looking at this Plano Atlas and I noticed that you just, you couldn't order it. It was just wasn't available. And I kept refreshing and finally it said it was available at Bass Pro. So they just got this thing in the Bass Pro. This just became available to buy from my knowledge because I've been looking. You couldn't even order on Amazon. It just, you couldn't really order anywhere. But so I ran to Bass Pro in Orlando and I picked up this Plano Atlas. So uh, the Plano Atlas, I think it cost me about $219. And I will have a link in the description, my Amazon affiliate link. If you wanna buy one of these, please go there and purchase it. Uh, I do get a couple of cents off the sale, no cost to you, but it helps out the channel. So if you want this pack after review, uh, go down to the bottom of the link and you'll be able to get yourself one of these packs shipped to your door. All right, so Plano Atlas, uh, it's a bigger pack, okay? Uh, we'll go over some of the features, okay? So we'll look at the outside of it first. So it has this, this form-filled case that doesn't really bend in, like, you know, a book bag, how it crunches up when you put it on. This thing stays, uh, it stays the size it is. And that, that's really good. All right, so you have a couple of pockets. We'll start with the inside. Now, number one with the zipper, okay? It's the one thing I'm not impressed about is the zippers. The zippers are really, really, like, I'd say like a step above, like, they're good zippers, but I expect like a beefier zipper. Like my wife has a Shimano bag just like this, uh, the equivalent to this bag, and her zippers are really, really, really beefy. Kind of almost like the zippers on a, uh, a Yeti Flip. Real beefy zippers, but these zippers, uh, to give you an example, um, it's, it's, I don't know, you have to feel the zipper yourself. Um, it, it's a good zipper. Um, I, just, I have to try it out. I've tried it out. But the zippers, I think, could have been a little more beefier, but anyway. So we'll open up the top, okay? And you can see I still have the tags on it, I just bought it. I did load it with some stuff though, okay? And when you open it up, you have a zipper place here to put some stuff. You have enough room to fit three of these size in there, okay? But what I have is I have this here for my, um, my peacock bass artificials, and I have my terminal tackle right here, which is kind of like, you know, all you need for just like a pond hopping setup, okay? If you're just gonna put it on your back. And, uh, you know, I pretty much have rattle traps, a couple of frogs and top poppers. And I have some uh, some jigs in there, okay? And it, it just, it stays, it keeps the form. That's what I like about it. It keeps the form. It doesn't collapse, all right? So you have the inside, which is really big, okay? And then you have, oh, I have some string hanging out here. And then you have your, your top, as you can see, I have some stuff in here. I keep extra line and stuff like that in here, uh, just in case I break some line or something. Okay, so you have that area. And, you know, it's, it's nice. I like it, so far I like the pack, all right? And you zip that up. You see how the zipper just, it just feels weird, but I'm pretty sure it's a good zipper. I think I'm just not used to it. I'm not used to that zipper, okay? So, um, right here, you know, I, I hang my, quick cutters, all right? I'll have a link to this and a link to all the stuff in the bottom. These quick cutters are really good because they extend. You can cut your stuff, let go of it, and it, it kind of goes right back to where it's at. You never lose it, or you can clip it like on your shirt. I use that when I'm cutting, make a clip on something, and I'll lose it. So these are really good to have. I'll have a link to that in the description also. So right here you have a water resistant cell phone pocket. So you keep your cell phone in there to get the picture of those big bass you guys catch, all right? Uh, really good, I like that. It fits pretty much any size phone. I mean, it's not gonna fit a tablet, but it fits any size phone. And you have this that opens like here, right? And it 
kind of folds out like that, which is cool because all your stuff will come falling out. And in here, I keep all my plastics, you know, my Yamamoto's and all my plastic. Uh, and there's another pocket right here, okay, as it zips up. And that's where I keep all my plastics. And I like the fact that it doesn't just, because the last thing I had, you open it and boom, all the plastics fall on the ground. So that holds your plastics right there. All right, and you zip that up. And then you have right here, you have a side. I will be doing a review on this. Uh, this is the Bass Pro Shops retractable fishing pole. Um, don't know about it yet. I haven't used it. I, I'm, I'm iffy on it. I also bought a brand new Lose um, reel to keep on that. Uh, I'll do a separate review on this because I'm not sure if I like it or not. But if you have a two piece or, you know, a small retractable, you can take this. All right, and you can you can put it on your pack. So if you got to get out real quick and go do what you got to do, you just take that, all right, and you tighten it up, tighten it up, and now you have that on your back, okay, and it holds it perfectly, all right. It, obviously, it's mainly for a two piece. You don't want to be walking around with a one piece. You know, it, it'd be pretty tall and you'd be hitting trees and stuff, but it, it's mainly if you want to stow away a two piece or you want to stow away a retractable. I've been looking at these retractables for a long time and I finally got one. It's from Bass Pro. I, I don't want to make it a review on this, but uh, there it is. It holds that. All right, here you have something to hold your scissors, okay? And to clip on other stuff, you need to clip some stuff on. All right, and then right here, this pocket actually fits the, the Plano size. There's a Plano size that fits right in here, one of their storage totes. But in here, I keep my scale, okay? Uh, I love this scale. This is the Rapala scale. I'll have links to this in the bottom too. This thing's awesome, like for tournaments. Uh, you could do you could do tiers on it. You could, you could just store all your stuff. It's, it's really good for tournaments, I like it. And plus it has this, and it also comes with a metal one also, but I'm not doing a review on this, but I will have a link to this in the description in the bottom. That's what, pretty much what I keep right there. And I would keep my wallet in there uh, and stuff. I need a fishing license if I had that there. The other side, another pocket right here. And what I keep here is uh, some grabbers right here. These are really good when you're grabbing bass and stuff, or I just put my thumb in there, but some people don't want to. This is really good, especially if you're fishing for some saltwater fish. They have teeth and stuff, but uh, these things are really cool to keep in here. And you, I have my regular cutters now. These are metal. What they did on this, let me zip this back up real fast. They put this quick drop section up here, okay? Drop zone, and it has a magnet, all right? And it holds your stuff. So if you're fishing and you don't want to lose it, you can just put it on there, or you could even put a couple of jigs on there, but that, it just, it holds it, all right? I mean, I wouldn't probably walk around with it. I, mean, I don't think it'll fall off, but it's called their drop zone. It's their patented drop zone. And it holds, you know, your stuff. So that's pretty cool and thought out. Um, I like that. All right, we'll put that in there. All right, now the bottom of this, real sturdy plastic. So when you put it down, you're not wearing out the bottom and jacking it up, okay? Now in the back for the straps, it has the breathable mesh to cut down on sweat and it has you know the breathable mesh here also which i like it, this seems very comfortable you know i haven't worn it traveling around yet okay but when you put it on it's very comfortable it has the back plates and i'll take a look at that overall i needed something in my truck that can carry more stuff because like I said, I had the small little red pack, which is in the video and uh, that I linked up top. And it, it was good, you throw it over your shoulder. But this thing right here, you can put on your back and you're just, you're on the move, you're on the move. A lot of times when you're fishing uh, Orlando, a lot of the places out there like in Disney, you really can't fish them ponds and everybody knows where it says no fishing, there's big bass, everybody knows that crap. So you wanna have something you can get and go. Uh, and if you wanna have your pole here so you can walk to your destination, you just keep it on the back. I usually hold my pole in my hand, my rod in my hand and get to where I'm going. Now, price-wise, 219, do I think it's worth 219? Well, I know my wife bought the Shimano one, which I do not have a picture of, but it's in her truck. 
I think hers is about the same price. It doesn't have the features this has, and it's about the same price, so yeah, I think about 200 bucks. It's I, I, that's about it's about the good price range if you want to spend for something like this. And this is something I keep in my truck. This is my go-to bag for when I'm fishing. She pawns on the side of the road. And you don't remember, you don't have to carry the whole thing. A lot of times what I end up doing, I end up throwing a rattle trap on here and I throw a Senko in my pocket and I go with just a rod. I go fish and I come back and just keep that storage. But if you want to grab the whole thing, if you're walking around a big pond, because I've done this a couple times. I went fishing at a pond and I only grabbed like one worm and one hook and you break your line and guess what you're doing? You're walking right back to your truck to go and get uh, more stuff. So if you want to carry everything, a one stop, everything, this is perfect. And this thing, these things, you got to have one of these, man. These things are the best. I love these things, these cutters. Uh, links in the description, everything here. Would I recommend it to someone else? I don't know yet because I haven't really used it full force. Uh, and like I said, I went and bought this. I did not get it donated to me. I'm not paid by Plano. I went and bought it myself. Like I said, I've been looking. I seen it at the uh, iCast last year, and I've been I saved it and I kept refreshing the screen. And then it finally, it said it was available. And then I uh, seen that Bass Pro had it in stock. They had two, and I went to Bass Pro. And Bass Pro is crazy, man. You gotta be real careful in Bass Pro. So here's the story. I had 200 bucks in my pocket cash. So I'm like, I'm gonna go buy this. I put 20 bucks out of my pocket. Dude, when you walk into Bass Pro, don't grab a cart. Don't grab nothing because you're gonna end up putting stuff in that cart. I walked out of Bass Pro spending $650. I kept throwing stuff in the cart, throwing stuff in the cart. I mean, you know, <laughs> Bass Pro is evil, man. If you go with a cart, you're, you're gonna end up, you wanna go in there and go what you're grabbing and leave. But <clears throat> I did get this. I finally got it. I am happy that I bought it. I'm not regretting it. But I want to see how the stitching holds up. So I'll probably do a one-year review again after using it for a year. Because I want to see how the stitching is. I want to see how the... Mainly, I want to see how the zippers hold up. Because I unzip, zip, unzip a lot. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review on the, on the Plano Atlas. I, I like it so far. We'll see after one year, okay? If you guys want it, once again, go in the bottom. Uh, my Amazon st uh, store affiliate link will have one of these and it will have some of the stuff I showed you. Like it'll have this thing in there um, and it'll have the scale. I figure, you know, that's, you guys want to have a scale with you and I recommend that scale. That scale is highly recommended, okay? Especially for fishing tournaments or if you want something that is on point and measures right and saves your weights, you can save your weights on that thing and go through them. So it's really good for tournaments. But if the way I am, I'm, I'm the kind of guy, buy once, cry once. I think that was 50 bucks, that scale. You can get one for 20 bucks and you'll buy another one in a couple of years and you end up spending 50 anyway. This one I had, I have one. We have one in our bass boat too. We've had it for a couple of years and it's still rocking good. So um, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the review of this Plano Atlas. And in one year, I will put it back on the table here. And we'll see how it looks, what it did, how the zippers held up. I recommend buying it. Links in the bottom. Once again, thanks for watching. Beagler Outdoors, out.